Bucks can close it out Tuesday night in Milwaukee. Here's Devin Booker after his second straight 40 point finals game. You know, we, we came out and did what, you know, we intended to do, you know, get off to a great start. Um, and, you know, we let it go. You know, they stayed resilient and they kept playing through. So um, tough loss for us. Well, Devin, you've talked about learning what you've learned in the playoffs is that it's a series, that it's not just one game. So mm -hmm. just speak to that mindset of going back to Milwaukee, knowing you get that when you'll be back here for a game seven. I mean, one at a time. You know, our focus is the Milwaukee right now. Um, you know, that's how you have to do these series, one game at a time. And, um, yeah, that's it. Dave, here in the front. Look, I wanted to ask you about the, the play. You guys are down one. You're coming down the court. You pick up your dribble around the foul line, uh, and, then, and then Drew comes in. Um, just what were you seeing on the court in that moment? And when you kind of had a little bit of a transition opportunity, what were you seeing in, in, uh, as you surveyed the court? I was just trying to score the ball. He was behind me. I turned, and he was right there. Over on the right side. Go ahead. Hey, Devin. Um, you know, obviously, you had a great night, but it, it, it seemed like a lot of times that there was a lot of isolation. There wasn't a ton of ball movement. I know you talk about point five, and it, there weren't many of those possessions. Did you think things got, and maybe this for Chris too, that things were just too isolated and stagnant on offense for too long during the night? Yeah, the whole third quarter, you know, was pretty much that. Um, we were trading basket for basket for, I think, five minutes straight. Um, but, you know, we're at our best when we get stops and get out in transition. So, um, that's we hang. I always say we hang our hat on the defense end, and that's where we have to be better. And Chris, what did you think about just kind of the ball movement? And did you feel it got a little stagnant at times? <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, it definitely did, especially in that second quarter when I was out there. And we talk about it all season long. We've been a ball movement team, and you know sometimes the switching can cause you to do that. You know we we exploit it at times, but sometimes we don't. Uh, we'll go back and look at the film and, and, and see what we could have could have did better. Gina? For both you guys, I mean, you, you haven't lost three games in a row in six months since January and, and haven't really faced a, a must win as far as an elimination game situation all playoffs. So just, I know you get how much you guys pride yourself on resilience and, and fighting back. So just what do you hope to see from, from you guys and, and your teammates the next two days to, to get ready for game six? Just embrace it. Yeah. You know, we, we knew this wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> uh, we didn't expect it to be. And... I mean, it's hard. You know, coach said it all year long. You know, everything we want is on the other side of hard, and it don't get no harder than this. You know, so we got to regroup, um, learn from this game, but it's over. You know, we got to get ready for game six. Anthony? Chris, um, from your perspective, what, what happened in that second quarter, and uh, do you feel like that's where you guys lost the game? Uh, it's a 48-minute game. You know, I'll go back and look at it and see, you know, but uh, – you know, we, we got to play uh, the way we started off the game. We got to put a full game together like that, especially going there. And um, we got to win a game in Milwaukee. So that's all that matters right now. Palmer, to you on Zoom. We're going to go to Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic. Thanks, fellas. Uh, this is obviously a really tough loss. Devin, how frustrated are you uh, for Chris right now? Next, right. next question, please. Dwayne, over on the right side. They obviously shot the ball from three well. Was that just a matter of them making shots, or would you feel like the defense – was it more of them, or was it more of what you, how you guys were defending the three tonight? I think we got to, you know, impose our will. You know, I think in that third quarter, I remember it was a timeout, and the guys said they had missed a shot that whole quarter, you know. And uh, like I said, we <laughs> – we come straight here from, from the game. We ain't looked at nothing yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think we'll go home, look at it, watch it tomorrow, and we'll see what we need to do better for game six. Chris in the back. Guys, there, there were a couple of miscues on when Yas is at the free throw line. Um, they got the offense rebound a couple of times. Is that a matter of just the ball bouncing a certain way, or, or you think you guys could do something differently on those situations? I'd have to go relook at it, but you know he is a, you know he's a freak of nature. He's a different size dude, so even if he's boxing out, getting a hand on it, you know it's tough. So, you know you just have to put a, put a body on him. Every everybody's out there anticipating a miss. You know, hell, even he is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, 
you know, we got to keep trying to box out. And then if his, his length, you know, he tipped the ball up in the air, ain't, ain't too much you can do. All right, thanks, guys. Sure. Well, it's true, Giannis.